Ukraine is a country in Eastern Europe. Its seven land bordering countries are Poland, Slovakia, Hungary, Romania, Moldova, Russia, and Belarus. The country's name is widely thought to come from the ancient Slavic term for borderland. It was referred to as the Ukraine until independence was declared in 1991. The article was officially dropped in favor of the politically correct Ukraine. It has a population of 43,745,640 people. It has one of the lowest population densities with only 73 individuals per square kilometer. Kiev is its capital and largest city. The capital, Kiev, is also the largest city in the nation with almost 3 million people. It can be found in the north-central Ukraine on both sides of the Dnipro River. McDonald's in Kiev is reportedly one of the busiest in the world. Kiev is widely regarded as the country's spiritual capital. Pilgrims regularly travel long distances to visit the Sofia Kivska Church and St. Michael's Golden Dome Monastery. Ukrainian is its official language. Other major cities include Kharkiv, Odessa, Dnipro, and Donetsk. Orthodox Christianity dominates Ukraine and has a big influence on culture. Its official currency is Ukrainian Rivnia, UAH, National Day, August 24, Independence Day, National Symbols, Nightingale, National Animal, Sunflower, National Flower, and the national colors are blue and yellow. National Flag, blue and yellow in the coat of arms, National Anthem, Шачен вмерла Україні, ай слава, ай воліє. Glory and freedom of Ukraine has not yet perished. Weaving with handmade looms is still used in some parts of the country, including Krupov, located in Rivnoblast. Unlike many cultures around the world, Ukrainians wear wedding rings on the right hand not the left. O Sol Mio the world-famous song was compassed in the country. Ukrainian romanticism started developing in the 1830s. Romanticist poet-painter Taras Shevchenko played a central role in this regard. He is widely regarded as the father of national revival. Commemorated on June, the 23rd, Ivana Kupala Day is one of Ukraine's most fun traditional celebrations. Boys and girls join hands in pairs and jump over a fire in a purification ritual. Locals believe that when a couple skip the fire without losing grip of each other, their love is destined to last a lifetime. Vishivanka is the Ukrainian national costume. It is decorated with ornamental hand-woven embroidery featuring floral detail. Both women and men wear the costume on various occasions. The popular Easter egg tradition originated in Ukraine. Originally, the eggs were patterned using wax and dye. The wax was eventually removed leaving an impressive pattern with dashing colors. The world's longest musical instrument also originates from Ukraine. The pipe piece is aptly named Trombita. Like many countries around the world Ukraine has had its ups and downs throughout history. And many hordes of nomads have passed through the Eurasian steppes and domesticated horses to reach the Roman Empire and caused the Slavs to migrate. During the 10th to 14th centuries the Ukrainian Kievan Rus was the largest and most powerful state in Europe. Following the invasion of the Mongols after the 14th century Ukraine was fallen under the rule of neighboring countries, Moscow state became a powerful enemy. Many Ukrainians became Cossacks and made a powerful voluntary army, formed a state in part of the territory. Later Ukraine was divided between Russian Empire and Austrian Habsburg. But the Cossack spirit remained, and in 1918, Ukraine declared independence, but later in 20th century it became part of USSR by military force and became the Ukrainian Socialist Republic. To suppress Ukrainians the new government conducted a mass confiscation of food in Ukraine known as Holodomor. Millions of Ukrainians were starved to death. Despite being an oppressed colony Ukrainian nation survived and gained its independence officially again in 1991. In 2004 the Orange Revolution took place. In 2013 Yanukovych refused to sign the European Association Agreement which has led to statewide peaceful protests called Euromaidan also known as the Revolution of Dignity. President Viktor Yanukovych and his cronies escaped, an interim government was formed in Ukraine, the new presidential elections were scheduled for May 2014, followed by the parliamentary elections in the fall. In the meantime, Russia has started its special operation to annex Crimea. On February 27 Russian troops occupied the peninsula. 
On March 16, the new pro-Russian local government conducted an illegal referendum. Two days later Russia has formally incorporated Crimea as its two federal subjects. Many of the resisting Crimean Tatars and Ukrainians have been captured and imprisoned or killed. More than 100 people became political prisoners. Meanwhile Russia has also instigated and sponsored anti-government protests in the eastern part of Ukraine. In spring of 2014 Russia backed separatists and Russian regular troops attempted to occupy the whole southeastern Ukraine. Ukrainian armed forces fought back stopping the Russia-backed separatists and Russian regular army from occupying the whole region. On September 5, 2014 Minsk agreement has been signed between Ukraine, Russia and the two separatist republics. It implemented an immediate ceasefire which has then failed. Over 13,000 people have been killed to date. Russia invaded Ukraine on February 24, 2022 causing millions to flee their homes to neighboring countries, causing heavy casualties on both sides. We hope that there will be peace again. Among the former Soviet states Ukraine is considered as having one of the freest press and internet. Leading newspapers publish articles mainly in Ukrainian, but translate some of these to Russian and English. Ukrainians love drinking horelka, which is a local variant of the famed vodka. Locals often flavor this national drink with chili pepper to give it a bit more punch. Locals also enjoy drinking stewed fruit, kompot, which is a non-alcoholic sweet beverage. It is prepared by cooking different types of fruits, such as gooseberries, rhubarb, strawberries, apples and sour berries among others. The drink is often flavored using spices, particularly in winter months, when it is served hot. Ukraine has the distinction of being the geographical center of Europe. It features the deepest metro station in the world, which was built in 1960. Its capital city, Kiev also features the shortest main city street with a length of only 1.2 kilometers. The average life expectancy is around 71.48 years. Ukraine has the fourth highest literacy rate in the world. Native Ukrainians consist of roughly 77.8% of the population. Although Ukrainians are hospitable, they seldom smile in public. Locals boast a distinctive ethnocultural identity, which is expressed through music and folk oral literature. Ukrainians are accustomed to energetic, fast-paced folk stage dancing, which replaced traditional styles. Locals designed the world's heaviest aircraft, the An-225 Mriya. Its maximum carrying capacity is 640 tons. Unfortunately, it got destroyed in the recent war between Russia and Ukraine. According to the Traveler's Digest, Kiev is home to the most beautiful women in the country. The invention of the first gas lamp took place in Lviv. The country is the second largest in Europe after Russia. Ukraine hosts up to seven UNESCO World Heritage Sites, including the primeval beech forests of the Carpathians. It has one of the largest armies in Europe. There are two different biomass in Ukraine. The northern and western regions are a mixed forest with temperate climate and broadleaf trees. Meanwhile, the southern and eastern regions are steppes with grassland plains and few trees. Around two-thirds of Ukraine's land is covered in black earth, a nutrient-rich soil that makes the country one of the most fertile in the world. It is considered as the breedbasket of Europe because of its massive agricultural exports. The seven major rivers in Ukraine are the Danube, Dnipro, Desna, Pripyat, Southern Buk, and Severian Donets. Around 95% of the country's rivers are part of the drainage basins of the Black Sea and the Sea of Azov. The highest point is at the summit of Mount Haverla. It rises to a height of 2,061 meters above sea level, or 6,762 feet. This is part of the Carpathian Mountains and has been a prominent tourist destination since the late 19th century. Ukraine is a popular tourist destination in Eastern Europe with over 10 million visitors each year, most coming from nearby countries. The Carpathian Mountains are suitable for adventures, while the Black Sea coastline offers long sandy beaches. It also has ancient castles, vineyards, impressive churches, and other attractions. Chernobyl, the explosion, which took place in 1989, is located in the town of Pripyat in the northern Ukraine. The site has recently been open to the public, but you must visit with an authorized tour company. If you are worried about radiation, 
tests conducted disclose that travelers receive more exposure on a transatlantic flight than they receive during a visit to Chernobyl. Close to 65 miles from Kiev, it's an easy full-day trip from the capital with a Chernobyl tour. St. Sophia's Cathedral, as a UNESCO World Heritage Site since the 1980s, is a favorite of visitors. With an elaborate Baroque exterior consisting of 13 golden domes, this cathedral stands out among the other historic buildings. Its beauty draws you into a jaw-dropping interior. Inside, you'll find the space filled with beautiful murals, ancient mosaics, and frescoes that are centuries old. Take a tour, or sit through a service, to get the full experience. Named for Hagia Sophia, St. Sophia's is one of Kiev's most noted landmarks since its construction in 1037. One of the best views in Kiev is from the bell tower, it's well worth the hike to the top. Visit Lviv's historic center, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, one of the most charming and well-preserved Ukrainian destinations for visitors is the city of Lviv. The entire historic center has been awarded UNESCO World Heritage status, and tourists will love walking the cobbled streets taking in the sights. Often called the Paris of Ukraine, the old city has a very traditional European feel, with the addition of modern conveniences and excellent restaurants. Coffee lovers will find the cafe scene hard to beat. This is an area that takes its caffeine in all forms very seriously climb the 1,000 plus stairs of the bell tower. The landscape in all directions is breathtaking. Visit a sunflower field, sunflower oil is one of Ukraine's largest exports. As a matter of fact, the country is the second largest producer of the oil in the world. Tourists will find enormous fields of the flowers all over the country. With shades ranging from buttercup to golden orange, these platter-sized beauties thrive in the area's soil and climate. It is also among the largest producers of corn, wheat, potato, sugar beet, barley, tomatoes, apples, pumpkins, carrots, cucumbers, cabbage, rye, walnuts, buckwheat, dry peas, and honey. Ukraine's biggest trading partners are China, Germany, Poland, and Russia. Kamenets Podolsky Castle, located in Kamenets Podolsky, a short walk from the old town, Kamenets Podolsky Castle is a striking landmark. This fortress, which has been in existence since before the 14th century, is the perfect place in the canyon to take pictures and explore. It's reminiscent of a fairy tale castle. Take a tour around the inside with all of its passageways and marvel at the manicured grounds. Even though this castle is centuries old, it has modern amenities like bathrooms and a cafe to make sure you enjoy your visit. The castle is especially beautiful at night when it's illuminated. Mezhihirya, former presidential palace, Kiev, Mezhihirya is situated on the banks of the beautiful Dnieper River and is the former residence of ex-president of the Ukraine, Viktor Yanukovych. There is no shortage of things to do here, and it may be the most interesting and over-the-top place you have ever visited. Today, in all its glory, the extravagant building is a symbol and reminder of institutional greed and corruption. Within its gated walls, there are tennis courts, a shooting range, an equestrian club, helicopter pad, ostrich farm, dog kennel, golf course, and hunting grounds. Be sure to check out the auto museum that houses Yanukovych's former exotic cars, head to the main mansion, nicknamed Honka, or explore the grounds with heated lakes. Excess is the theme here, and some attractions are more ridiculous than others, from the exotic animals at the president's farm to the restaurant in the form of a Spanish galleon. Odessa Opera and Ballet The Odessa Opera and Ballet is located in a historic building in the center of town, and is the oldest theater in Odessa, opening in 1810. Visitors can take in shows like Swan Lake or Madame Butterfly, all for about the price of a cup of coffee in the U.S. The unique horseshoe hall allows for excellent acoustics and gives the audience a full view of the performers on the stage. If you are here when they are offering tours, this is a great way to get a behind-the-scenes look at this magnificent piece of architecture. If you are lucky enough to be in town during the holidays, even better. The Christmas festival is not to be missed. Visit a local outdoor market, although there is much debate about the origin of the famous nesting Russian dolls, there's no denying the talented skill of the craftspeople making them. Visit a market and find a wide variety of handicrafts highlighting traditional arts in the country. Textiles are many, 
especially the traditionally embroidered blouses, called vishivanka, and hand towels used in many homes around the country. Another favorite of visitors are the many vintage war items found at these flea market locations along with fun floral headpieces used for festival celebrations. Tarakanov Fort, Dubno, grab your flashlight or headlamp and head to the Tarakanov Fort, located just outside the village of Dubno, and about two hours from Lviv, near the Ikva River in the west of Ukraine. It was originally built to protect the Lviv-Kiev railroad route, and visiting it is a one-of-a-kind experience. This ruin has a tunnel entrance, and is not for those with claustrophobia. Dating back to Imperial Russia, there are centuries-old tunnels and passages to explore. Visitors will want to get here early to access the attraction before the groups. It's a great place for photographers, history buffs, and adventurers, but be sure to wear good shoes and watch out for the sometimes treacherous terrain. Tunnel of Love, Clevelin, just outside of the town of Cleveland, the Tunnel of Love is another popular spot to visit in Ukraine. For lovers and singles alike, the Tunnel of Love is a two-mile stretch of private railway that gives the illusion of a never-ending tunnel. A canopy of trees over the tracks are actually what makes the tunnel. Bridal parties and romantics head here to make a wish or take a romantic stroll. Legend says that for couples who make a wish together here, if the love is real, the wish will come true. It's also one of the most photographed spots in Ukraine. Odessa Catacombs If you want to see the city of Odessa in another light, be sure to check out the catacombs. These subterranean tunnels, originally formed from mining of a rock called Kakwina, a soft off-white limestone, are rumored to be larger than the underground passageways of both Rome and Paris. Giving tourists access to Odessa's underworld, there's a network of basements, bunkers, storm drains, and drainage tunnels, forming what feels like the ruins of an underground city. It's one of the world's largest urban labyrinths, with over 1,600 miles of tunnels. The history of the tunnels is just as intriguing as the tunnels themselves. During the invasions of World War II, the people of Odessa took to the catacombs for planning and executing their counterattacks. The Kiv cake is another edible symbol of the city. It features two layers of meringue, buttercream filling, chocolate glaze, and hazelnuts. It was an accidental discovery after a confectioner messed up a biscuit and colleagues made the most of the situation. The iconic borscht is probably the most famous Ukrainian dish. It is a comforting soup made with beetroot, meat or bone stock, and sautéed vegetables. There are many variations, the broth can be made with beef, pork, chicken, or as a vegetarian version. The soup often includes fermented beetroot juice, kvas, and it is common to add meat, while typical vegetables include root vegetables and cabbage. The essential ingredient in every borscht is beetroot. It gives the dish its distinctive red color and a characteristic earthy flavor. Originating from the historical region of Red Ruthenia, these soft, crescent-shaped dumplings are filled with a combination of potatoes and cheese, which is occasionally modified with various seasonings or fried onions. Pyrogi ruski are usually boiled and shortly fried until they develop a crispy texture. The dumplings are often served sprinkled with cracklings, crispy fried onions, or bacon and can be enjoyed as a hearty appetizer or as a main course. In Ukraine, the Pierages are called Vereniki, and they are so popular that there is even a monument celebrating Vereniki in the city of Cherkasy. The traditional Ukrainian Pascha is a sweet and fragrant Easter bread. This popular delicacy abounds in eggs and butter and typically has a tall cylindrical shape with a rounded top. It is often enriched with citrus juice or zest, vanilla, rum, ginger, and occasionally saffron. Some varieties of pasca also might include raisins, candied fruit, or maraschino cherries. In the past, the surface of the bread was commonly decorated with festive ornaments, usually roses or crosses, but modern versions are often brightened with pristine egg white glaze, colorful sprinkles, or poppy seeds. Chicken kiv consists of a boned, flattened chicken breast that is rolled around chilled herb butter, breaded, and then fried. Although the dish is very popular, no one knows where it came from or how it got its name, and there are numerous contradicting theories attributing its invention to Ukrainian, Russian, and French chefs. 
It was at the height of its popularity in the 1970s, but quickly fell out of favor in the late 1980s with the rise of Nouvelle Cuisine. Interestingly, in Soviet hotels' tourist brochures, guests were warned of the dangers of splattering themselves with hot butter. Battleship Potemkin, widely regarded as one of the best films of all time, is about a 1905 mutiny in Ukraine. Other notable films about the country are Mr. Jones, which tackles the Holodomor famine, and Everything is Illuminated, which revisits the Holocaust. Several Hollywood stars were born in Ukraine including Mila Jovovich who had leading roles in The Fifth Element and Resident Evil. Another is Mila Kunis who is known for films like Gia and Black Swan, as well as the sitcom That 70s Show. Famous Ukrainians Vladimir Klitschko is a Ukrainian former boxer. Widely regarded as one of the best heavyweight champions ever, Vladimir Klitschko was renowned for his great footwork and extraordinary knockout power. He won a gold medal for his country in the super heavyweight division at the 1996 Summer Olympics. He has often been named among Ukraine's most influential people. Vitaly Klitschko Vitaly Volodymyrovich Klitschko is a Ukrainian politician and former professional boxer. He serves as mayor of Kyiv and head of the Kyiv City State Administration, having held both offices since June 2014. Klitschko is a former leader of the Petro Poroshenko bloc and a former member of the Ukrainian parliament. They never fought each other in a pro match due to a promise they made to their mother. Vitas is a Ukrainian Russian actor, singer, and songwriter. Renowned for his eclectic musical style and unique falsetto, Vitas has performed with well known labels like Universal Music Group. He often incorporates elements of folk, classical, jazz, techno, dance, and operatic pop into his music. Petro Poroshenko is a Ukrainian politician and businessman. From 2014 to 2019, Poroshenko served as the fifth president of Ukraine. Before being elected as the president, Petro Poroshenko served in positions such as the Minister of Foreign Affairs and the Minister of Trade and Economic Development. The feisty Orange Revolution leader Yulia Tymoshenko became Ukraine's first lady prime minister in 2005 and was back in power from 2007 to 2010. She made her signature blonde ponytail, sometimes worn in a crown-shaped braid, a fashion statement. Tymoshenko was on Forbes' list of the world's most powerful women. Andriy Shevchenko is a former professional footballer who played for the Ukraine national team. One of the greatest Ukrainian football players of all time, Shevchenko scored 48 goals for his national team, making him the all-time top scorer for Ukraine. He is also only the third Ukrainian to receive the prestigious Ballon d'Or. He is currently serving as Ukraine's head coach. Football is the top sport in Ukraine with the clubs Dynamo Kiev and Shakhtar Donetsk enjoying immense popularity. The country's best finish in the World Cup was in 2006, when they went as far as the quarterfinals. Ukraine has one of the highest numbers of IT certified professionals behind the US, India, and Russia. This makes it a top outsourcing destination for companies all over the globe. In 2019, it became the biggest IT services exporter in Europe. The country has large mineral reserves, and half of the known deposits are now being exploited. According to 2019 USGS statistics, Ukraine is included in the top 10 producers for iron ore, manganese, titanium, graphite, and uranium. Although Ukraine produces gas, it still needs to import most of its fuel needs from Russia and Turkmenistan. Ukraine's pipelines transport Russia's gas to the EU. This has major consequences for the economy and foreign policy. Ukraine maintains independence when it comes to the supply of electricity. This is thanks to its hydroelectric and nuclear power plants. In fact, it has excess capacity that is exported to Russia and other Eastern European countries. The country has a space rocket industry under the management of the State Space Agency of Ukraine. The Yuzhnoya Design Office created the Zenit 3SL carrier rocket and the first stage core of the Antares rocket.